So today I primarily work on the ESOC contract. That's the contract that supports all the operations, engineering, logistics, maintenance, everything around and surrounding EVA activities in terms of the EMU spacesuit. EVA stands for extravehicular activities or spacewalks. It's anytime an astronaut leaves the vehicle or space station. EMU stands for the extravehicular mobility unit, and that's what our contract is in charge of supporting and engineering. So the suit has um, thousands of components, and those components have thousands of components. If any time any one of those components change, a lot of other things change. There's a trickle-down effect. So if we change the screw on one of the helmets, a slew of procedures have to happen. And Rethink lets us do that easily, um, whereas it being in different databases and different systems makes it very difficult to do that. Our biggest challenge, though, is that our day-to-day -day operations can't be affected. So we really needed a technology set and a stack that could provide us that ability to write synchronization, to kind of keep this data in multiple places so that we can slowly kind of break apart these monolithic systems without impacting our day-to-day -day user activities. The bulk of our data comes from a 25 to 30 year old Oracle forms and reporting system. And there's hundreds of thousands and millions of records in that table, as you might imagine. Some of the data is good, most of the data is kind of crummy. So we have an extract, transform, and load process that takes the data from Oracle, transforms it into something that's usable, and dumps it into Rethink. And then all of our applications read and write to Rethink. And then via the change feed, we can write that back to the old system so that the people that are still using the old Oracle form system don't uh, have dead data, old data. So for us, a big part of the real-time story of the future is, is APIs, access to the data, and real-time services with things like Socket.io or, or Rethink. During an EVA, this current configuration of the spacesuit doesn't relay a lot of real-time data back to the ground. Um, so we're really focused on making sure that the decision makers in Mission Control have all the data necessary about those components in that, that spacesuit to handle whatever situations may occur. We need to know everything that the astronaut is doing up there and Rethink will be able to provide us that precision and the engineers that need to make the decisions that go into the next generation spacesuit and the next generation space station will be made via the system. You know, it's important, I think, at NASA that we continue to let people in the open source community know that we're using their tools. And so as many people out there would like to help and, and work towards Mars or these big lofty goals that NASA embodies and is working towards, in a lot of ways they are, because these open source tools are permeating our stacks and we'll continue to use them and grow.